focus, focus. My, my soda is spitting on me <laughs> out the straw. That's silly. <sighs> start, just start, just say hi. Just say hi. Hi, my name's Anna. Welcome to Top 10 Tuesday where I go through my top 10 of various different things. If you want to see what my top 10 favorite lippies are, then just keep watching. All right, so like I said, welcome to Top 10 Tuesday. My name is Anna. I love makeup. I'm a collector of makeup. So I thought it would be fun to go through my top 10 lippies. I decided to just go with all different kinds of lip products as far as um, lipsticks, lip glosses, ooh, liquid lipsticks, you know, I, I wasn't going to, plus I don't actually have enough makeup to do, you know, like top 10, um, liquid lipsticks or anything like that because I certainly I don't even think I have 10 different brands or whatever so starting out with number 10 my top 10 favorite lippies is I mean it's a classic it's the Mac matte lipstick and this is actually one of the little tiny ones because this is my favorite shade that I that I own this is velvet Teddy real popular one and you know it's just it's a classic. It has a light scent that doesn't bother bother me too much. It's kind of like a vanilla. Um, they have a million shades. It's pretty comfortable to wear. It's it's just kind of a workhorse lipstick. Um, I'll show you what that one looks like. And I think that this particular shade is why this is in here because it's super flattering on so many different skin tones from what I've seen. I remember talking to a girl in an Ulta once who was like, I love your lipstick. And I was like, oh, it's Velvet Teddy. And she's like, what? My Velvet Teddy doesn't look like, you know, it doesn't look like that on me. And so, I don't know. I just think it's kind of a cool shade and I like it. So that's number 10, MAC. And I, I like their original matte lipsticks. And this next one, <laughs> I have so many of these. I love these. I think this might be an unpopular opinion, but I really like these. And that is the Ciate London Glitter Flips. I feel like they maybe have been trying to discontinue these or I don't know, I just feel like they've been on sale for like two or three years now, but I love them. I love them. I think they're so cool. Here, what I'm gonna do, I have this crazy purple color that I really like. And I'm going to put that on my hand. Because what you do, if you're not familiar with these, also, that packaging is so cute. I love Ciate London packaging almost always. It's just so cute and sparkly and cute. Okay, right. so I put that on my hand. I'm gonna let it dry. Usually, you put it on your lips, you let it dry for about a minute, and then you press them together, and then bam, there's there's glitter but anyways I'm gonna just I'm gonna let that dry and we'll go on to number one two three four five six seven eight in eighth place for my top ten favorite lippies are and I I think these may be discontinued as well but I love them so much and I'm not gonna lie I first got it for the packaging this is the Marc Jacobs Lamarck lip frost it's a really comfortable shimmery lipstick and there's no scent I love a lipstick that has no scent oh it makes me so happy speaking of the Ciate London doesn't have a scent either um, but anyways this I actually have a few different colors of this lip frost but this is probably my favorite and this is in the shade cherished and boy it's not showing up very well here but it's got just it's like just enough just enough shimmer so that it's pretty 
and doesn't look weird. Like I don't have to be doing a massive character kind of thing. I'm gonna do another one here. This one is called Sugar Sugar to see if I could get that shimmer. Yeah, it's a little bit more clear there. But yeah, they're just so pretty. Like I said, just no scent and they're very comfortable. You can't feel any of that shimmer or glitter at all in this packaging. Come on. It's so cute. It's very heavy. I think I did a little bit of a thick swatch on that Ciate London glitter flip, so I'm going to I'm going to let that be. I'm just going to let that be and we'll show you at the end. So the next one in seventh place of my top 10 favorite lippies is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. First off, I am such a sucker for packaging, but if the product's terrible, I won't, I won't like it. I mean, just because of the packaging. I do actually love this product. I got a sample in, I ordered some other things from her and got a sample and I used it, it's really comfortable. It's just a super comfortable lip gloss and it just looks like a normal clear, it doesn't, it doesn't have any particular color to it really. It's just a clear balm and it really is a balm and it's comfortable hydrating I really like it. I I wouldn't say it takes, no, I could use this just as a lip balm. Sometimes I want the tube because it's a little easier to apply, but it's not like this is hard to apply. It's just, I'm, I'm not as coordinated as some people, so I don't know, sometimes I just want like the thing really close or, anyways, I really like this. I really do recommend this. Huda Beauty Silk Balm. All right. In position number six, I have Matte Trance Lipstick by Pat McGrath, and this particular shade is called Venus in Furs. And the packaging is so cute, and it's so fancy feeling. But also, I do love this lipstick. I think it's beautiful. It is pretty long wearing. It's matte, but it's comfortable. It's not drying. This particular shade, Venus in Furs, very flattering. I mean, I kind of have a thing with mauve, I guess. But yeah, and the name Venus in Furs, I mean, beautiful. Beautiful, love it, classic, good stuff. Especially if you can get it on sale. I'm not gonna lie, I bought this on sale. I think these retail for about $38 maybe. Worth it if you wanna splurge, and I mean, hey, hey, I love makeup. I spend all of my discretionary money on makeup. That it's, it's what I wanna do, and so I do. And so, you know, like, I think it's worth $38. People might argue with me, but that's, that's my opinion. I like it, but I did get that on sale, so. So take that as you will. All right, in position number five, that's 10. In position number five, what am I doing? In position number five, there we go, third time's a charm. Um, wow, okay, that was, that was a moment in my life. Okay, so in fifth place, I have the Laneige, what is this called? Lip Glossy Balm. When I first got this, I wasn't like, wow. Because I was looking for a lip balm. I was looking for like chapstick, but not chapstick um, because they discontinued my favorite one. So I'm still kind of on the hunt for a new one, but it's funny because this actually has sort of taken over as my go-to like lip moisturizer that I always have in my purse. And I think part of that is the smell. I'm sensitive to smells. I, I will say that a million times over and I will tell you what things smell like, but this is the grapefruit scent. I also like the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, 
which also has a citrus. It's a, the one that I have is a lemon scent. And I also like that the scent doesn't bother me. So whatever, whatever they use for fragrance, at least in those two, in these two doesn't bother me. Um, this is again, just a very clear formula. It might show up a little bit. I know they have different colors. It's a little bit pink, I guess. I find it doesn't really show up on the lips, but maybe it's just the same color as my lips. Anyways, it smells more like orange candy to me. It's like an orange Jolly Rancher. I don't remember if that was a flavor they had, but if there was an orange Jolly Rancher, it smelled like this. Um, grapefruit. Yeah, this is great. In fourth place for my top 10 favorite lippies is the KVD Beauty Liquid Lipstick. Oh man. Oh man, especially this shade. This is, and this is the old packaging. This is when it used to be Kat Von D and now it's KVD. And so I hope it's the same formula. I haven't actually tried the new formula yet because this is still working great. So I, mm, it doesn't smell weird. It works well. I, I'm not gonna throw it away. I think I've had it for about two years. I don't know. Is that too long? I don't think so. Anyways, this is the shade Lolita. And boy, oh boy, she purdy. She purdy. Like this, every time, if I don't want to think about my makeup, if I'm, it kind of goes with everything, I feel like, at least for me. Look at that pretty color. Oh my gosh, it's very similar actually to the Venus in Furs, but it's got, I guess, a little bit more red to it. Um... Anyways, when I put this on, it lasts a very long time. It's very th thin, like it doesn't feel heavy and it doesn't dry out my lips like a lot of liquid lipsticks and it doesn't flake off. It moves with my lips. It's like, it dries down, but still almost feels emollient. I can't explain it. You've got to try this. This is, this is magic in a tube. I like it. It's real good. So KVD, Vegan Beauty, Liquid Lipstick. Mm. In third place for my top 10 favorite lippies is the Fenty Gloss Balm. It's, it's so good. It smells so good. Yeah, I just love it. It's comfortable. It's not too sticky. It's beautiful comes in a bunch of pretty colors this one's fussy this is the one I probably use the most I actually the only other ones I have are from this like holiday set which I use I like them yeah it's just a standard in fact that is what is on my lips today put a little more on I mean this is not something that's gonna last forever it's it's a lip gloss but it lasts long enough and mm -hmm. yes yeah it's just my standby if I'm going to put on a lip gloss and I'm not gonna think about it it's gonna be this this is often in my purse which I've heard from almost everybody <laughs> I, think, I think every person that I watch on YouTube is like yep I have a Fenty gloss bomb in my purse so yeah it's good I will say, I just, I haven't tried the, the new, new one, the fire or heat, I think is what it's called, but the creams, the, the gloss bomb cream, so beautiful. They look so pretty. I couldn't wear it because of the fragrance. It made me not feel well. So unfortunately those do not work for me. These do, they smell different. That's something that I should point out. They smell different. The cream smells much different from the gloss bomb. So anyway, that is that. And that is a little sad, but it's okay. I'm gonna cheat quite a bit in this video. <laughs> but my number two favorite lippy is every lippy from Odin's Eye. I can't, I can't just choose one. They have four different formulas. They have, I don't even have them all here. How did that happen? So I have an aunt who, <laughs> If you're watching this, you know who you are. <laughs> and I love you so much. Um, I remember once she was like, you know how people talk about getting their ducks in a row? She's like, I can't even find my ducks. 
I definitely feel that way sometimes. I have a good memory, actually. Um, can't find my lipsticks, but, well, uh, no, I found my lipsticks, so, so that's good. I am digressing like crazy. So, first formula. This is the cream lipstick formula. So, this one is a creamy, light feeling. It's this one. This. I find their formulas so comfortable, and the smell... It actually smells really good. It's really subtle, and they all smell just slightly different, but this one smells very, very subtly of like a grape candy. So the velvet lipstick is just a little bit more matte. And this color looks really flattering too. I look like Snow White or something. A Disney princess from the 30s. It actually smells the same as the cream lipstick. Just that very, very, very slight hint of kind of a grape candy, but it dissipates very quickly. So the next formula is their matte lip stain. Comes in like a frosted, I think it's plastic, but it looks like frosted glass. I think they're pretty. I love their packaging. Oh, Odin's eyes, mate. I, I can't help it. I love them. I love them so much. I love everything about them. I do. I do. I'm a stan. I really am. I'm a fan. Total fangirl for them. <laughs> so this one actually is really cool because you can do that very powdery looking lip. And again, I find this shade incredibly flattering. Oh, and this one smells, this one smells a little stronger. It's almost like a stronger grape candy or like cherry candy maybe. Again, the scent of these does not bother me one bit. I actually almost like it. I do, I do like it. And then it dissipates. I don't smell it for long. There's no flavor to actually any of these that I'm mentioning today. No flavor. All right. And the last one from Odin's Eyes. So we're still on number two. Because I'm cheating. And this is the cream lip stain. This one smells a lot like the matte lip stain. And this one is more of a glossy finish. I will say this is maybe my least favorite of the four, but I do still like it. It's basically a glossy lip stain, just like it says. Anyways, I, I love these. I love these so much. I think they are just the most flattering lipsticks across the board. They just look so pretty. So these are the four Odin's Eye formulas. I love them so, so, so much. Mm. So pretty. And my number one of my top 10 favorite lippies is by the Natasha Denona. I, she's known for her eyeshadows, but I tell you what, this lipstick, this is in the I Need a Nude lipsticks, and this is the color Amorosa, and it is what I am wearing today. It's just so flattering, and I think this is the most, I think this is the most comfortable lipstick that I own, and I also think that this is the most... It stays the longest of my bullet lipsticks. I mean, it really, it really stays for a long, long time. That's the color. Yeah, it's just, the, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I love the color. I love the feel. Um, it's, it has staying power. It really stays on forever. I've had this on, I don't know, three hours. I have lip gloss over it, but it's, yeah, even with lip gloss over it, it, it stayed on. I've been drinking out of this straw. It does transfer a little bit, although I think that's the lip gloss. I don't think it transfers very much. I think that's another thing. I don't believe that one transfers a lot. Once it dries down, you're good to go. It's a good lipstick. Very good. Highly recommend. If you're going to get one thing, and this is definitely worth the price. I think I did pay full price for this. I think they're $25. I think they're worth every penny. I 
gosh, I think she just had a sale. I should have done this video before National Lipstick Day. It would have helped you out, and I apologize. I didn't know. Maybe maybe, maybe next year we'll do a top 10 favorite lippies of 2022. Um, anyway, so Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude, Omarosa. Mmm, so pretty. Okay, now here's where I'm going to cheat again because I have not one, but two honorable mentions. And hear me out. I'm, I'm the one who's making these rules. I don't, nobody's going to hold me to anything. I mean, there's probably like 25 people who will watch this video anyway. <laughs> and I love you for it. Thank you so much. I'm just saying, I'm very new here, so. It's not like the stakes are high as far as if I cheat on my own video that I am making the rules for. And I've decided that there needs to be honorable mentions. Partially because one of them I thought of, I don't know, I'm just kind of disorganized, you know, can't find my ducks or my lipstick, so. Although I did find my lipstick. Still looking for those ducks. I'm kidding. But I, you know, I'm a little disheveled. It's not important. I'm shoveled when it's important. All right, so my honorable mentions are, and this is, I wasn't really including um, lip liners in this, and so that's why this one kind of is an honorable mention. But this is the ColourPop, whoops, hide that. This is the ColourPop, what are they called? Lippy Pencil. And this is in shade BFF. It's what I'm wearing today. I have a whole set of these that I got in a bundle. I'll try to link it. Sometimes it's available, sometimes it's not. I actually really love it. I probably use, you know, about a third of these, really. But it's, it's fun to have, and this formula is really comfortable. And the thing is, you can just use this. I mean, as any lip liner, you can wear it all over your lips, but this one's particularly comfortable. And it doesn't bleed um, into my like little fine lines and whatnot around my lips. So yeah, I love this stuff. Um, and this color BFF, ooh, so good. And then my other honorable mention, I can't believe I'm ending the video with this, but this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Okay. This is not, this was not in my top 10 because there are things that I really don't like about this. However, I use this all the time. Like almost every time that I'm gonna put on my makeup, I start with this because it's really moisturizing. This moisturizes my lips. It hydrates them. It hydrates them so well. And I don't, I don't like the smell of this but it does go away. But when you first put it on, it just smells like chemicals, like nasty. It's like if, whew, um, it's like if there was a strawberry candy that smelled, that fell in some chemicals and then you took it out and then you ate it. I guess, ugh, uh, this is terrible. I'm, <laughs> um, it's like that. It's really bad. Like, I don't like the smell of this, but like I said, it does go away very quickly. Although if I'm feeling particularly sensitive, I might steer away from this even just for that first like five minutes. Um, also, you know, it does do that burning feeling at first, that stinging feeling, because it's essentially plumping your lips, which I don't know if that's actually true. I don't, I don't know that I think that's true. I don't know that I've really noticed it for myself. Also, I have to be very careful not to get it around the outside. Like it has to stay in my lips because otherwise it like causes redness on my skin around my lips. So use with caution. But here's the thing. If I put this on when I start to do my makeup, by the time I'm ready to do my lips, I kind of wipe off the, you know, the excess, the slipperiness and my lips are so hydrated and so comfortable and so happy. So, I, I don't know, this is just one flavor. I don't find, or flavor, uh, color. I don't find that the colors make a difference. I have the clear one too, and I feel like these look exactly the same, this and the clear one that I have. I don't know. 
I don't know what to tell you. I just did tell you. So, those were my top 10. If I would, if I could wink, I would right now. But those are my top 10. It, it would, it wouldn't look, it wouldn't be cute. It's, and I don't know, whatever. Here, should I try? So those are my top 10. There, it wasn't so bad. Favorite lippies. I totally almost forgot. So the glitter flip. I'm just gonna put some on my lips for you. These stay forever too, by the way. They are long wearing. These are a little more drying. If you tend to have dry lips, you might not like these. I think a lot of people don't. I really do. And some of these actually are a little more glittery than others. We'll see how this one does. So, I'm gonna stop talking for this part. Okay, so you don't wanna touch your lips together. <laughs> so I know the ventriloquist right now. I should show you though. It looks very like that. When you first put it on. Okay, so I think it's been about a minute. And now, so it's almost, it's almost completely dry. It does, it does have a slight scent to it. It's like a kind of a chemical. Pretty light. It goes away immediately. I don't smell it once I put it on, but when you first take it out, I can, I can smell, smell a little bit. Anyways, so what you do is you move your lips together like this Mm. Oh yeah, totally. And I feel like kind of the more you do that, the more glitter is released. Mm. Glitter. Anyways, I like it. I like this color. It's cute. That's that. Um, back to back to the past Anna. That wasn't that far past Anna, but. I actually like, turned everything off and started cleaning up and then I was like, ah, I have stuff on my hand. Just looking for my, I'm just, I'm just gonna go look for my ducks. Or not, I think I have squirrels. I think that's what it is. I don't have ducks, I have squirrels. Harder to find, harder to catch. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would subscribe, that would make me so happy. And then you will also get to see when I post new videos, which I'm trying to do twice a week, might be once a week. I like doing top tens. Thanks again for being here and hopefully we will see you in the next one. Bye.